Hey y'all, this is Clint with WorkWithClint.com and today we're going to learn how to install a favicon, which simply means favorites icon, onto our self-hosted WordPress blog. This is a favicon. It's just a small photo or a logo um, that you own that you can install to make your website uh, stand out from the crowd. So the first thing you want to do is come over to this website. It's called um, Dynamic Drive. It's a favicon generator, and I've included the um, the address to this generator in the uh, written article. So the first thing that you want to do is come over here, and you want to click on Browse. We want to find a photo of ourselves. Um, <clears throat> so let's go into uh, some of my photos and see see if we can find one that's that um. Uh, that we can use. Here we go. So <clears throat> let's just use let's use this one. So we're going to click on Open. And there it is. Now we're going to come down here and click on Create Icon, and it's going to take the photo that I just clicked on, and it's going to make a little tiny 16 by 16 uh, photo. So <clears throat> you can preview it and look at it. And there it is. So that's what it's going to look like. It's just my head. So we're just going to click on Download Favicon. Now remember where you save it to. I'm going to save mine to uh, Windows Live Photo Gallery. So I have save file already uh, selected. So now we're just going to say OK. OK, and now we want to come over to our um, to the back office or the uh, the dashboard of our blog. And this is a new blog that I'm starting. It's uh, Easy Network Pro. Um, and this is the back office. I'm going to click on library. I'm sorry, uh, media, and then click on add new. So we want to add some new media uh, to our library. Now I'm going to select file, <clears throat> and this is it. This is where it said it's under um, favicon number six. So we're going to select that one. I'm going to click on open, and there it is. Okay, now we want to come back over here to our uh, favicon generator, and we're going to scroll down, and here's a line of code. <clears throat> we're just going to um, highlight this code, and we're going to copy it. Um, it's uh, just a general code, and we're going to come back over to our um, to our uh, dashboard for our blog, and we're going to go under appearance. Um, we're going to click on um, the editor under the appearance tab. Um, at this point, you want to come over here and click on um, over on the right. You're going to have some different options. Uh, you can click on under header. Once you get to the header, you're going to look, um, scroll down, and you're going to try to find the um, uh, this right here where it says head. It's um, <clears throat> forward slash head. And then we're going to come right above it. We're going to click in here, and we're just going to hit Enter, and that's going to create a blank line. And we're now all I got to do is just hit Paste, and there's the code. So just remember, it's right before head. So now you can come down um, and click on Update the file. This is real easy to do. Okay, so now we're going to come back up to our um, library where we have our favicon saved, and we're going to click on library, <clears throat> and we're going to find this our favicon. This is it. So we're going to click on edit, and we're going to. highlight the uh, URL. I'm going to click on um, copy. <clears throat> and then we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, we're going to come back over to our editor under the appearance tab. Go back under header. We're going to scroll down until we find that little piece of code that we put in here earlier. And here it is. There's the head with the forward slash right before it. And we're going to put right in between these little quotation marks, like this quotation mark 
and this one. We're just going to highlight that information in between the two quotation marks. And we've already got our URL for our Favicon uh, copied. So I'm just going to right click and I'm just going to click on paste. And there it is. <clears throat> We're almost done, so now all you have to do is come down and click on Update File. And we're going to come over to our uh, actual blog, the Easy Network Pro. <clears throat> we're going to click on Reload, and we're going to watch what happens. Look at there. There it is. It's just that simple. It shows up here, uh, and then it shows up uh, here when people visit your blog. So that just kind of... Um, it's an extra step that we can take to to make our blog stand out from the crowd. And that's it, folks. That's just, it's just that easy. So if you've enjoyed this video and, or if you found it useful, um, leave me some, uh, some comment love. All right. Thanks, y'all, and y'all have a really great day.